to a bathroom. The child is not there that she is not a child. On getting there on the road, God has sent the child. They said, Bring that eat there. For God, God helped the son not to be eaten by the serpent. When they are coming to her, they say, It's God that you intervene. That the child are listening to what the passenger and saying that pass another road. On getting back to that express, they make accidents. And when they are proceeding, uh, um, kidnappers kidnapped on their way. That so it's no police, uh, police that will, that that intervene. They will have been kidnapped by a kidnapper. Reason why she's sending God that she never mourned over her child, never mourned over anyone. This is why she's taking God.
the death touching for a child of God is let us always overcome, always overcome. In Roots chapter 1, verse 1. Roots. Chapter 1. Roots chapter 1. Verse 1. Now, it came to pass. In the day when the judges ruled, and that was it, there was famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the, in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his son, Bethlehem, Judah. Elimelech and his family, the wife and the children, left the country and went to another country called Moab. That was a wrong decision. You know, check up from God. Is it right for us to go alone? We just went like that because there was famine in the land. They went to a country that God was not like. They went to a country that had any of God. They did that. They suffer for it. The old man lost his life. The two children they get married to, 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 to in that in that land of war that God gave, and they two the children the two children lost their life. God was spared Naomi, but the problem is they took the wrong step. They don't check up from God. Lord, help me to correct my 
like what you are doing. They are fighting us. God, God is defending us. That's why what the Lord has to bring to you today is the assurance that no matter the attack, no matter what they are saying, we shall continue to have testimonies. At this time, has lost the battle. 
And then all the people that were fighting for him, they were now looking for this man David. And David was surprised. He couldn't believe that all the army who were fighting against him had now come with all their strength to come and support him to win the war. He was surprised. He couldn't believe it. See what he did here. In verse 17. Verse 17. And then he went out to read it and answered and said unto them, If he become peaceable unto me to help me, my heart shall be meet unto you. But if he become to betray me to my enemies, See, there is no wrong in my hand. The God of our Father, look down and book it at this time. The enemy who have been waiting for against you. And they come to you now. They say, now we want to be on your side. We want to support you. You will be surprised. You can't believe it. Somebody who has been fighting you right from your mother's womb. Who have been doing a lot of hours against your children. And you just see him saying, Here am I, I want to support you. You can't believe me. People do not believe me. Look at what happened. He challenged them that, Look, these two people that are coming, are you really coming to support me or to destroy me? I will do the same thing. When I see somebody, what is fighting me? What is to be on my side? I will believe it. I will challenge it. Now see what God did. In verse 18, then the spirit came upon Amaziah, who was chief of the captain, and he said, Thou are we, David, on thy side, thou, son of Jesse, peace. Peace be unto thee, and peace be to thy helper, for thy God helpeth thee. Then they will receive them and make them captain of the man.
He cannot believe it. That the people that were his enemy, God called them to his helper. What is your problem this morning? Is it husband? God can turn things around. Is it your wife? It's only God who can do it. That's why we told you you don't need oil, you don't need water, you don't need all these things of the world. It's God that can fight your battle. You had the testimony of our sister this morning. That's the way God works. And that's what God has promised us in this ministry. It will surprise you. Before the end of this year, it will surprise you. Next year, it will surprise you. The year coming, it will surprise you. You just need to surrender out to me. There is no mountain that is too high that God cannot bring you. Whatever you are thinking that is too big for you, God is telling you today, everything is changing over. You just do the will of God. Dress as a child of God. All this open your back, open your front, stop Be different from the world. All this painting, powder everywhere, take it away from your life. Be a child of God. That was why God gave me to take me. If God sees you that you are serious, He will make your enemy to be your friend. God and you see what God will do. You turn to God and you see what He will do. Don't be an enemy of God. All these people of the world, they are not following God. That's why their problem is complicating. Be a child of God. Dress as a child of God. Talk as a child of God. If we turn your enemy to be your friend, the Bible says when the way of a man pleases God, he will make his enemy to be at peace with him. That's what you see with David in prayer. And that's what you will see in your life. All this problem in your family, you will see God will turn into testimony. Your business that is giving you problems, God will turn into testimony. Money is your problem, is your enemy. God will make money to be your friend. God can do it. He did it for David. He did it for many people. He will do your own as well. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you for this hour. Showing us who you are. That, that is nothing too hard for you to do. The case of David is an inspiration to us. Because he believed you. Because he obeyed you. That's why you prove yourself to him. By making his enemy to be his friend. And to become his helper. I pray this morning. Every challenge, every problem we are facing. Which become a solution in the name of Jesus. That the way you have been working with us in this ministry, and you are giving us testimony, as we have done for David, you will do for us in the name of Jesus. I pray, grace gave David to be obedient to your word. That he obeyed you. Even Saul was pushing him to do evil. He stood by you. I pray, everyone coming to our church here, we have abandoned the world. In every way of our life, we will please you. In our dressing, we will please you. In our talking, we will please you.
God, we are grateful because we know who set up this ministry. And you are proving yourself. I pray before the year runs out, more miracles will be loaded upon every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. We know you have answered our prayers. Thank you because you are never a failure. You are always there for us. 